Hi. What's your name? Priscilla Boyer. You like Elvis Presley? Of course. Who doesn't? What are the kids listening to these days? Bobby Darren, Fabian, and you. <laughs> Just what is the intent here, Mr. Presley? You got women throwing themselves at you. Why my daughter? Well, sir, I happen to be very fond of your daughter. She's much more mature than her age. 21! Yeah. 22, what? that's 22. 22. You don't have to worry about it. Black hair and more eye makeup. I don't know if I like it. What do you mean you don't know if you're lying yet? He's not like you imagine. You know, there's a lot of rumors about you. Was there something you're hiding? I don't have a goddamn thing to hide. Oh, I need a woman who understands that things like this might happen. Are you going to be here or not? I want a life of my own. Boom, there you go. That was the trailer for Priscilla, available right now on demand, voodoo, digital, all the things. Check it out. It's out of the theaters, um, but it might be in theaters. I don't know. Uh, they're slowly transitioning it. It's been out for a little bit. It's now, you know, award season, um, but we're going to talk all things Priscilla. I'm Kuya P. This is Nerds Rule the World. And joining me to talk about Priscilla is my pal, Heather Hurt. How are you, Heather? Okay. I'm okay. This is going to be a fun one to chit chat about. What about you? All right. Yes. From A24, Priscilla, we are getting her side of things. Uh, as you know, recently we had that Austin Butler film that, you know, glamorized Elvis, Elvis Presley. He's the king, blah, blah, blah. But did they really go in depth about Priscilla's side of things? I don't think so. Um, so with this one, we get that side of the story. Uh, Priscilla was uh, Priscilla Presley was also involved uh, as the executive producer on this. She was uh, uh, this was based off of her memoir called Elvis and Me, uh, and this film is written and directed and produced by Sofia Coppola. Uh, it stars um, Kayla Spaney and uh, stars uh, stars Kayla Spaney and also features Jacob Bellorty as our Elvis Presley Presley uh, who. Presley. Also <laughs> Uh, recently started in, in that Elvis film. Um, but uh, I wasn't used to Jacob Bellorty until this film. And then we got more of Jacob Bellorty in Saltburn. He kind of took over 2023 a little bit, doing quite a bit of a few projects. But um, uh, not familiar with Kayla Spaney. I thought she was phenomenal in this. Um, but mm -hmm. let's talk a little bit about the story. And, and then we'll, I guess, get into a little bit of the actors in this and give you our review and thoughts. Um, but what did you think about this? Did you uh, or were you aware of Priscilla and Elvis? Uh, you're a little bit younger than me me heather um but you know everybody knows about elvis uh so what did you know about elvis and press priscilla were you aware of how a bit of a dirt dog uh, mr elvis was and the grooming uh that you know started with old uh you know celebrities back then there's a lot of grooming back in the day and a lot of people try to kick the grooming uh, that Elvis was doing under the rug because he was so cute and handsome, but nah, uh, that's not cool. And uh, yeah. Anyway, that's a little bit of my thoughts. I'm already getting into my thoughts about no, this good. guy. But anyway, I, it's um, honestly that's why I picked this very specific photo because I was just like, this just her face kind of exemplifies my opinion of this entire film. To be quite honest, um, so the yes, I was I did know about Pre Elvis Presley. I was a big fan of his, just like many many people were. Before you learn things like how he stole music and dance moves and all this fun stuff, and then you learn a little bit later on when you're a little bit older and you understand the concept of what the actual term grooming grooming means, not what the GOP pretends that it means. Um, uh, you learn a lot, and the thing is, is I'm I'm going to say this to all the, the Presley stands out there. I'm sorry. He is not. He is far from the only one. There are some. There are some celebrities out there that'll break your break your heart. Stop looking up to them because they are. Let me tell you, especially in the music industry, there are a lot of terrible humans out there. Do not get me started on David Bowie because I will probably cry. That one hurt a lot. I won't deny. Um, but it's one of those where 
I, I, I didn't know her story. I didn't know what the truth is. And so much of it is, and you're going to hear this. I, I saw this a lot with the older critics. And when I say older critics, I mean people in their 60s and 70s who are still just as valid. Their points are just as valid. They are just as good of a, as critics as, as anyone else. Um, but what you saw a lot of in the conversation was this was a sign of the times. A lot of this happened back then. That does not make it any better. It does not make it any better. She was 14. He was 24 when they started dating. There is zero okayness about that. Does that matter if that's what happened then? Doesn't matter at all. Um, this movie was, um, the story itself, so I don't know if you've read uh, Elvis and Me. It's it's a very good, it's it's a solid memoir. Uh, not a great memoir. Not it's not it's not like a, a you're going to keep it on your your bookend every day. It's it's a it's a good book. It's a very it's a very fun, um, not a fun. That's that's definitely not the right word. It's it's a very solid look at a different side of Elvis Presley of how he acted, of who he was, um, and gave a very telling story about who. Um, who the people out in, in his circle were, um, Priscilla being a main point in there. And that there are other people, it's celebrities are what they are, um, but there are people that make them celebrities. And Priscilla was definitely one of those. Having her on his arm was a huge benefit to him. Um, the movie was solid, not great. Um, I think that they still did some disservice to Priscilla herself. Um, so it's saying that as Sofia Coppola is still one of the best, one of the best directors out there in uh, modern historical storytelling. Um, I just feel like, I feel like there was something missing from the story and I'm not really sure like what, how I, like what that would be, but it felt like it was still missing something to me. So. Yeah. I didn't, I wanted her to show more resistance and like, it just seemed like she was okay with it. And she just kind of finally found her freedom in a lot of ways. Right. It, it, yeah. You not get like that closure with their relationship. It just kind of, okay, now I'm free. But like, they didn't ever actually deal with the situation. Like, dude, you kind of used me in a lot of ways. And I don't know, but she also so went much... willingly and her family, you know, everybody, cause it was the times or whatever, but come on, you know, you knew it was wrong and you, you saw how he got you on drugs and, yeah, um, I thought it was a great film. I, I thought, it, you know, Jacob Lordy, this was my introduction to him, to him as an actor, and I think he's a phenomenal actor, Kaylee Spaney. I think it was really well done. Uh, again, shout out to Sofia Coppola, who kind of put this all together. Um, but yeah, there was kind of like that missing element in, uh, since it's been a while since I watched it. I, I echo your, your, what you're saying right there, Heather. Absolutely. It's, it was it was a good film. Uh, do I suggest it? Absolutely. Especially if you are a Presley fan, you know, learn, grow, adapt. doesn't have to. I'm going to say this. You don't have to dislike. I, I mean, I don't think that there's much to like about him anymore. Personally, and that says someone who like I loved Elvis Presley. Um, I don't find much to love about him anymore because you could find the better versions of his songs by actual people of color that did the original versions. Um, but it's one of those where uh it doesn't mean that you can't be an Elvis Presley fan. This just makes you a more well-rounded Elvis Presley fan to know the different sides, the different angles. Um, and you, can, you need to know more. And Priscilla's side is important because what she saw is also what a lot of the spouses in entertainment feel. Um, and I think, I think, yes, it, I, guess, I guess that switches the, the, the culmination of how she got to from point a to point c and now she's just out of it um definitely is what missing is what is missing but if this is a, it's a good film it's a good film and i do think that a lot more people should be watching it absolutely yeah and it'll at least bring awareness to these issues again which is what we hope with uh cinema uh you know mm -hmm. to the forefront and then you can make your own mind up was certain things right wrong right there how did they adjust? Um, you know, uh, it puts that maybe it leaves it to the audience and that's what they're trying to do here. But I wish mm -hmm. in different ways, though, just to just illustrate, you know, come on, that was wrong or or the 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 two people involved with it, them having more of a confrontation. I wanted that to happen between Elvis and Priscilla in the film. But I don't know. I was reading still that kind of like the aftermath and even with her Priscilla being the producer on this, she still doesn't talk bad about Elvis and, you know. And not that I'm saying Elvis is shithole too, or I, I enjoyed his music like you did, but then I learned the background. Just like I, it hurts to listen to R. Kelly. I love his music, but he's a super asshole. You know, he's Elvis to a whole nother level in a lot of ways, right? Um, but it's kind of not hard to step in the name of love, which is one of my favorite uh, R. Kelly songs ever. But anyway. I was going to say, wow, got to throw that out. Okay, sure. <laughs> 
I was talking yeah, about Billy Kane, to be fair. You, you're perfectly right, though. Like, so. our heroes, you can't, you know, the people who you may think are your heroes or whatever, they will become villains over time, and it's sad to see. But uh, this was a great film. Um, there's a little missing part there, but maybe that's subjective in Sophia's intention. But um, I'm glad that it's there and it exists because people need to know the other side of Elvis, and that's Priscilla, and we get that in this. All right, those are our thoughts. Priscilla, it's on all the streaming services. You can buy it, purchase it, uh, check it out. Um, but those are our thoughts. Uh, good film, but could do with a little bit more in there. Um, but there you go. Heather Hurt, your boy KP, Nerds Rule the World. Those are our thoughts on Priscilla. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Bye. What's going on, world? It's your boy Kuyapi, NRW, Nerds World of the World, here at the Regal Gallery Place. I just got out of the press screening for Priscilla, y'all, from A24. Um, Priscilla Presley, her story, um, and what went down with her and her relationship with Elvis, y'all. Uh, came into this, like, you know, I'm aware of Priscilla Presley, aware of Elvis, obviously. And uh, my thoughts coming out the joint, I learned a lot more. Very interesting. There's two sides to every story, y'all. And uh, it's very important you get Priscilla's side of things. Um, and man, she went through it, y'all. Um, I really enjoyed the film. Uh, straight up, off the jump, I, straight up, I enjoyed the film. I'll put together a review on this. But uh, I hope people see this. I hope people that are big Elvis fans see this. Because y'all need to know about your boy. Um, Anyway, stay tuned for the review. It's your boy, Koopy. Check it out.